Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today what I'm going to be talking about is uh, a new lighting set I've brought in. Last time I saw you, you saw me uh, get my Colorlight Pro out and it's set up right here uh, behind you uh, and you can see looks nice. Uh, another lighting solution that I actually was using in my last uh, video uh, but I've switched it off for now because it doesn't really go very nice with this setup is uh, another one of these lighting equipment and this is a bowling p1 as you can tell uh, so this bowling p1 is a, a video light uh, which is uh, something i found over the internet and i like so much i ordered it the second time uh, and the reason i'm making this video is so i can share with you all the features uh, the exciting features of this light which make it a worth buying product for us so without further ado let's open the box so it does come in a nice uh, black packaging i think this is a chinese product um, so don't be fooled by the box uh, on its own uh, but i wouldn't be recommending it to any of you if uh, i didn't really like it myself so just out of the box you'll see this very weird looking uh, plating is actually all the instructions on the device itself uh, so I would suggest you keep a uh, hang of this and see how it uh, unfolds uh, the next thing to come out of the box is the light itself uh, this is a very tiny light you can see with the size of my hands it's not that massive it is very light in weight as well to be mounted directly onto your camera and um, it's got this mounting pole right on the side now leds up front as you can all see there are a few buttons i think there is a power button which turns this thing on i'm going to turn it off for now because obviously it's too much for my camera to handle at the moment uh, it's got a nice lcd screen and the back which you can see is uh, really well placed uh, and there are a few other buttons uh, which you can use this mount is a really good one it does come out uh, it's got these screw holes where you can mount it on your camera on your tripod and then this is a 3d articulator arm you can turn anyway uh, and use it so why did i buy this light so that was the first question everyone is going to ask me the reason i bought this light was not because uh, of its build or the external appearance or the artic articulating arm the reason i bought this light was because of its rgb function uh, I currently I'm using uh, an aperture uh, which is right on there it cost me about 300 pounds to buy it's got a nice diffuser on top uh, and it's a very very powerful light but the only thing which is lacking there is the RGB function it's got a very nice power button it's got a very nice sleek finish it's a um, aircraft grade uh, aluminium that's how they advertise it actually uh, which it uh, features uh, so all you have to do is slide this button power comes on nicely and straight away you're looking at the rgb function of this light uh, i'm gonna set it back to its normal function it's 500k so i'm gonna show it to you on my back wall it goes all the way from 8500k down to about what i think is 2500k uh, i'm sure you can see it on there uh, and on my back wall so that's your main light that you'll be using uh, most of your functions it's got a dimmer in it so the intensity can go from zero all the way up to a hundred which is a nice feature uh, and then uh, there are some more functions the second function is actually the rgb function uh, and as i increase the intensity you can see on my back wall uh, you've got a very nice view issue and it changes cycles all the way from pink to red uh, and then yellow uh, and then it finishes off with a green hinge uh, why is rgb important rgb is important gives you a very nice background to work with as you can see with this light here uh, before i get into any more detail let's see what else can we do with this light so i've changed uh, the saturation so uh, once you do that you can uh, within a color change the saturation of that color it goes from zero to a hundred so a hundred is a very very sharp looking green and the zero is almost a white uh, the third function is actually uh, the color change function it's uh, there you go so that's also a very good nice background this is the stroke function uh, which is really good for parties if you're going to use it for as a party light 
and then you can change the how how fast the strobe is going really uh, and that gives you a very nice control and then the last one but not the least is the lightning function so basically uh, all it does is give you uh, as if there is uh, some sort of thunder uh, thunderstorm around you there's a nice uh, scale on the back which tells you what color is uh, what degree is, so you can use that uh, and that's the main light bit uh, now reason I bought it was number one because it's cheaper than an aperture plus as I said RGB function uh, how much an aperture costs as I said 300 pounds to me it is a bigger light it has more power it's got an external battery this one doesn't need an external battery it comes with its own battery which is a I think a good 3000 milliamp hour uh, and the other one I'm using so far I've not even had to charge it once and it's still going it's lasted me three videos already further inside the box after you pulled the light out uh, second thing you see is a very nice very premium looking very sturdy pouch which comes at the back which you can store your light in for travel uh, and there are a few stickers some warranty information which you are not going to go through uh, some things to mention within the pouch itself is uh, it's a velcro finish uh, and then you can open this special bit here which houses a Allen's key and this Allen's key is really important because you might have to change the stiffness of this 3d arm with this Allen key I'm gonna put this back for now uh, other things which comes with the bag is a USB uh, A to USB C charging cable is this um, coal mount which comes with uh, which goes nicely at this end and then you can use it on your camera either this way or the other way around entirely up to you how you want to use it it is a very nice light uh, in general so if you want just the white light function or the warm light function you can use it that in your studio or outside you can also use the stroke function it is a very good lighting effect for your photography uh, you can use it in your kids parties because it's got a very good rainbow light function which you can use uh, and it can be a very good accessory to your mini bar uh, or to your bar in general you can put it in your living room you can put it in your uh, ballroom and it looks really nice so there's a few few chances you can use this light another thing to use it for is a very good uh, light for nursery so this is it for this week i'll be seeing you again very soon with something nice something exciting uh, keep watching our videos if you liked it please press the like button and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos uh, to review tech stuff thank you for watching i'll see you again goodbye